These are pictures Myanmar's military junta does not want the world to see. As the rulers speak of economic development, many in this reclusive country live in poverty. These women say their families get by on less than two dollars a day. They say the government has never done anything for them, but they still felt pressured before the vote. We have to do what the government says, she tells us, otherwise they might kick us off this land. As people like these try to get by, living amid dirt and trash, Myanmar state television showed the country's military ruler, the general Tan Shui, getting out of a flashy luxury car to cast his vote in an election many in the international community are calling a sham. The junta marginalized opposition parties through administrative and financial hurdles, they say, and early results seem to indicate the parties close to the military have won by a landslide. State-run media is declaring the elections free and fair. All of this as people in remote villages like this one say they feel abandoned by the country's leadership. Instead, it is mostly Buddhist monks who give aid and try to foster economic development. In 2007, the military brutally crushed an uprising by the respected religious leaders and so were hiding the identity of this monk who tells us in spite of the flaws in the process, about 60% of the villagers here went to the polls. I have my own opinions about the election, he says. Many people here would really like to see a different government. As citizens, we would like to see a new government. The situation remains tense in eastern Myanmar after fighting erupted a day after the vote that caused tens of thousands to flee to neighboring Thailand. The Thai military says many of them are now returning home. The rest of the country appears calm. As the women in this makeshift hut outside Yangon told us, they worry about survival, not about politics.